Hey, today I'll show you how to create this effect for thumbnail index for your Cargo Collective website. Uh, I've already made several videos about image galleries and uh, thumbnail index. All of them works uh, well in most cases, but uh, some of them uh, don't cover one particular layout. I'll show you which one a little bit later, so you will be able to apply this code for uh, any other situation for all other layouts except Freedom Layout. But let's talk about it a, a little bit later. First, uh, let me introduce some changes. I created a CodePen uh, account, so all the code which I'm showing you, I will be storing here. Uh, there will be not only this code, but uh, some other uh, projects. So please do not copy codes from them. First of all, they cannot be, um, they can be not finished. Uh, and also uh, wait until I post a video where I explain everything in detail, what you should copy, what you should change and how to use this code. So please be careful and do not use my code um, blindly just copying uh, and uh, pasting wait uh, until you see the full instruction. So uh, let me just show you how to navigate through this thing. We have uh, this panel, which is our preview. I use some random images to show you how it works. And we have uh, three other um, sections. This one stands for HTML, this is our CSS part, and this is JavaScript. For this modification, I didn't use any JavaScript, therefore it's empty. Um, and also, you can see these gray lines. This is basically your hints. Uh, th uh, they are made for you, so please read them. And yeah, this just helps you to navigate. Uh, okay, uh, let's go to cargo and uh, I'll show you what you're supposed to copy from this part and how to customize it. This is my website and this part is thumbnail index. Let's go over settings. So uh, we have several options for layouts and you can choose any one except this one. So this is uh, valid for <laughs> the rest of my videos as well, because, uh, well, all videos which I created for thumbnail index or for image gallery works pretty well for uh, other layouts except this one. And it's a little bit tricky to create, uh, to adjust the code I made for this particular case. So I'm really sorry, but you cannot apply all effects which I created for this layout. So be careful and select any other option of your layout. I'm going to be using this one and let's uh, check other settings. So you need to um, set your width to 100 and you still will see some padding because this page has padding and you need to set it to zero, but I'm not going to do that. But if you want this um, grid to fill in all your page, uh, like I showed you on my code pen example, you also need to remove this padding. Okay, you can use as many columns as you want. You need to set this value to zero. Uh, you can crop it or not. And here I have titles enabled, but I don't have any tags. I'm not covering tags in this video and therefore you need to disable them. Uh, let's go over mobile adjustments. So your gutters should be set to zero as well. Okay, uh, the rest of settings you can choose however you want and then uh, let's go to CSS editor. You need to scroll down and find the part which is called uh, thumbnail index or thumbnails. Uh, it's gonna be yeah somewhere here so somewhere in the middle you will find it. And I'm going to change the size of my browser so you can see my code and compare this code to cargo code and yeah that's how we can uh, compare it and adjust. So this is like this value is uh, we don't need to change it and this is our page background this is the width so the same values which we set already. We need to uh, set these values all four values to zero. So if you see something like that remove uh, parts which are not zero. I recommend you to copy this code just in case you want to restore the initial um, look of your thumbnail index. Okay, what do we have here? Uh, this part we don't really need to change, but if you see some uh, gap between your images, some vertical gap, I'll show you. Um, 
let me actually resize this part so uh, I will remove these lines, uh, these titles, um, and there's supposed to be no gap between your images. But if it happens, you can add display flags and you won't see any gap. Sometimes it happens, sometimes you don't need it. I think that I need these settings only for code pen need, uh, just because sometimes when you write code on different platforms, uh, well, it works differently. I don't, I'm not going to explain why, but probably you don't need this line for <laughs> your cargo website, but just in case you see some vertical gap, uh, you can add it. Okay. Uh, the part which is important for us is this one. So this part is uh, all about titles. I'm not going to cover tags, as I said before. So that's why we can keep this thing as it was. Do not touch it. Uh, what do we uh, need here? So first of all, we need font family. You need to copy this value or save it somewhere and set this value to your new um, CSS. So in my case, this is like the same value, but if you want to, you can change it uh, however you want, but if you want to keep it like it was uh, before, just copy this font family thing. And after that, remove this block of CSS completely. Then you need to copy a new code starting from here. So this is a hint for you. Start from here and uh, ending here. You need to paste it at the same place. And now let's check how it looks. So this is the result. If you hover over your elements, uh, you see how it works. Uh, we can see a little bit of space uh, at the top and then the bottom of each card. But if you refresh your page, uh, if you go to um, not editor view, but real website, uh, you won't see any space. It will be working well. So uh, let me show you how to adjust your, like customize the look of your uh, thumbnail uh, index a little. So we have uh, a little bit uh, of color, like of shade when you hover the background. So this value is here. We can change it to something else. So let's say to something darker, or you can even uh, select any other color you want. So let's keep it like that. You also can change the color of your text. Um, well, it looks weird, but let's use something like that. So yeah, you also can change font uh, size, but I recommend you to keep it like that because now it depends on your screen width. So this is uh, your font size for desktop and this is your font size for, for mobile. Talking about mobile devices. So uh, we won't see our cards like hover state for mobile devices, basically because we don't have hover for mobile devices, but you can make them visible. This part is responsible for mobile adjustments and you can copy, uh, you can copy this selector paste it here between these two curvy braces. Just be careful. This is most common mistake to forget to close uh, the second curvy brace. Uh, and this is, it can lead to lots of bugs. So please do not forget to close it. So you can say opacity one and uh, make them seen f on mobile devices. You can also add some other settings here after opacity. So let's say background. Uh, well, for mobile, I want something more casual. Let's say something like that. That's how you can control your mobile version um, and you won't affect your desktop version. Uh, here you can style your text. You can also use, I used lowercase, so all letters gonna be small, but you can also use uppercase like that. Uh, well, uh, check this CSS um, CSS property and you will see which other options do you have. Uh, other settings I won't recommend you to change. Maybe I'll show you how to place your text not in the middle uh, and that would be all customizations which we want to cover. 
Okay, uh, so what you need to do, let's place it at the top left corner. We need to find text align and set it to left like that. So now it's here. Then we need to find another uh, CSS part like justify content center instead of center you have other options you can remove your uh, center and check uh, which options do you have and you can just switch them and play do not use initial or inherit this is just global values you can use flex end or flex start let's uh, select flex start okay so this is going to be this uh, part and for align items, we also can set something like flex end is going to be here, or maybe baseline is going to be here. Uh, and now we, have, we see one more problem that we need to add some padding at the top and uh, or rather margin. So you need to find this value and say margin uh, 0, 20. You can just remove 0 and now you see that everything looks fine. So that's how you can place your text at the top left corner if you don't want it to be centered. And let you know if you like this video and thank you for watching. Follow my channel to get more tips about Cargo Collective. Goodbye.